Ukrainian drones deadly grenades bombard positions Russian troops in frontline Bakhmut. The Ukrainian commando unit, equipped with powerful drones, has proven to be a formidable force, dealing significant blows to Russian military equipment worth millions of dollars. Tanks, missile systems, and command vehicles are no match for the precision strikes of the drone. The capabilities of the Ukrainian commando unit drones are continuously growing, with around 10,000 operators already trained and more being trained. The introduction of a Ukrainian-made drone boasting a 1,000-kilometer range has expanded its capabilities further. These advancements have bolstered Ukraine's military sector, leading to discussions with international manufacturers. The support from allies, especially Denmark and Germany, has also strengthened Ukraine's defense against hostile attacks. As Russia's full-fledged conflict began, the Ukrainian commando unit drone was responsible for the destruction of almost 4,000 tanks. Recently, a video surfaced depicting a covert Ukrainian drone mission that targeted and decimated Russian military positions using DJI Mavic drones. Creative drone warfare is currently being done on the Eastern Front, providing an unfiltered view of the conflict. Ukrainian troops and drone operators equipped with GoPro cameras perpetuated the footage as they piloted modified DJI Mavic drones and remote controllers. These drones, armed with various explosives, allowed the operators to drone lock the target point and drop grenades strung by a wire with explosives attached, dealing an explosive blow to the positions of the Russian troops. The Ukrainian Special Operations Center has deployed fire and drones effectively, successfully eliminating Russian forces in the conflict. Videos have shown that FPV drones, using virtual reality to provide the pilot with a view from the drone's perspective, have been particularly effective against radar installations. The Ukrainian quadcopter drone executed a precision strike, targeting three Russian soldiers standing in trenches. The footage from the drone also captured the moment when a grenade was dropped right between the Russian troops, causing a significant explosion due to the downed Ukrainian commando unit drone's quadcopter drone grenades. On the other hand, the drone footage shows the Ukrainian FPV drone approaching a moving Russian BMP-2 armored vehicle. The first drone strike immobilized the vehicle, forcing its crew to abandon it. Subsequently, a second FPV drone attack inflicted heavy damage to the BMP-2, setting it ablaze. The resulting fire ignited the ammunition inside the Russian vehicle, leading to a massive explosion. The Ukrainian FPV drone, in this instance, effectively neutralized a costly Russian armored vehicle. Recently, Ukrainian troops utilized tanks and drone bombs to take control of Russian fortifications in Bakhmut. Video footage published by the 30th Separate Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces showcased the assault on enemy troops in the trenches. Notably, for the first time, the Ukrainian commando unit employed an FPV drone bomber in real combat situations, expanding the range of their drone capabilities even further. These drone operations demonstrate the Ukrainian military's strategic use of technology to counter the Russian forces effectively in the ongoing conflict. At the moment, fighting in eastern Ukraine has somewhat intensified, as Ukrainian and Russian forces clash in at least three areas on the eastern front. Ukrainian forces claim they are making steady progress along the northern and southern flanks of the war-ravaged city of Bakhmut, which Russian forces have occupied since May. Kyiv began its highly anticipated offensive against entrenched Russian troops in June after stockpiling Western weapons, building up its offensive forces, and engaging in battlefield shaping with long-distance strikes. Recently, Heavy fighting has been waged on the front lines in eastern Ukraine, as an updated map shows, as Kyiv states that its counteroffensive is about to gain pace. In publishing a new map of Russian-controlled territory in eastern Ukraine on Saturday, 
The Washington, D.C.-based Institute for the Study of War think tank said Kyiv's fighters had carried out counteroffensive operations on at least three sectors of the front line. Hotspots of fighting include areas around the Kharkiv city of Kapiansk and the Donetsk cities of Lyman and Bakhmut, the general staff of Ukraine's armed forces said in an operational update. There were around 40 combat clashes reported over the previous 24 hours, the general staff said on Sunday morning. Ukraine made unsuccessful attempts at offensive operations around southern Donetsk, Lyman, and in the contested Zaporizhia region. Russia's defense ministry said in a statement on Sunday. On Friday, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said the counteroffensive was set to gain pace, although it had been hindered by a lack of ammunition sent by Ukraine's allies earlier in the year. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken told on Sunday that Kyiv had already reclaimed about 50 percent of the territory Russia had seized since the start of the war. These are still relatively early days of the counteroffensive. It is tough, Blinken said, adding more details will emerge in the next few months. <laughs> National security spokesman John Kirby said on July 21 Ukraine's troops have begun using American cluster munitions in the field. They are using them appropriately and effectively and they are actually having an impact on Russia's defensive formations and Russia's defensive maneuvering. I think I can leave it at that. The U.S. decision to send these weapons was criticized by multiple countries and human rights groups, even by some of its allies. The Joe Biden administration defended the decision, saying its military experts confirmed that these munitions would be useful against trenches on the battlefield. While they are dangerous, Ukraine can make use of cluster munitions now more than ever, with its counteroffensive having a hard time against prepared Russian defenses, plus its shortages of artillery shells, aircraft, and experience fighting large-scale operations, observers said. <laughs>